To view Ruby's City Restaurant from Main Street, one might easily think it's just like any other small town cafe in Lakes Country. When you step inside, you expect to see someone you know. Near the front window, the Morning Coffee Club gathers for their daily conference and serves as a welcoming committee. So, so what is so special about Ruby's? Oh, it's been here forever. <laughs> but why has it been here forever? If something has been here forever, there's a, usually a very good reason for it. What is it? Can you tell? To Just gather. to gather and, and exchange stories. Right. Support one another. Yeah. Early, early morning. The farmers meet at a round table and back. Yeah. The guys have their back table or round table. And the front one's the left. <laughs> Although we don't exclude anybody from our table. And at lunch time, they serve lunch for the elderly. It's just a good meeting place. <laughs> Gail Johnson bought the city restaurant in 2005 and named it Ruby's in honor of her mother. So how do you I named it after my mom. She um, she loved to cook and bake. Did you grow up in Ashburn? No, I'm not from here. Okay. So it, it has the it seems like the community has really embraced your Yeah, they're business very and, Yeah, they're very good, you know. It's kind of like a big family, you know. Um, like I can only run just a short staff, you know, like just because we just never know. Usually there's no, not very many people in here, but if it gets busy, they'll, you know, everybody just picks up and helps. And I have several people in town that have keys to the restaurant, so if it's a storm, you know, and I can't get here or something. So tell us, I had one of your donuts and it was absolutely delicious. Is this an old family recipe? No, but it's, they're made from scratch. A lot of people don't do that anymore, you know. Uh -huh. They're rolled out, they're not dropped. This is what they look like. Uh -huh. yeah. So are they rolled out with a rolling no, pin? No, not with a rolling pin. I just pat out the dough. Okay. The certain thickness. And then you cut and it with I a stamp? A, a cutter, a donut cutter. So how do you know when these donuts are finished? Oh, I don't know. You just do when they're brown. When they look brown? Yeah. Uh -huh. do, they, do they puff up as they cook? Yep, they do. Uh -huh. So, um, how, so you, you got the restaurant in? October of um, 2005. Okay. And did you run a restaurant before this? Or? I had before in 1985. Okay. For a number of years. And then, uh, before I came here, I was working at the Idaho County Sheriff's Department for 14 years. Oh, okay. And then I just decided I'd like to get back into this again. Ashby is just off I-94 between Alexandria and Fergus Falls in Grant County. The Central Lakes Trail skirts the north side of downtown. If traveling on the interstate or touring by bicycle in summer or snowmobile in winter, Ruby's is a good spot to stop for coffee and a meal. The squeak of the front door reminds us there is a steady rotation of groups and individuals. The regulars who come here to have fellowship with friends and neighbors and to enjoy the fresh caramel rolls and Gail's hand-pressed homemade donuts. This old building has served the community of Ashby as a restaurant and sometimes as a mercantile since 1917. In a way, the old booths, fixtures, and aging taxidermic displays make it feel like you're stepping back in time. The walls are filled with old newspaper clippings and photographs of the town's baseball team and other mementos of community life. Baseball has always been a big sport for Ashby and this baseball diamond was named for Bunny Running. He used to have our bait shop just across the street and so it was named after Bunny Running and I think that's Bunny right there if I'm not mistaken. And was he the banker? No, he had a bait shop. A bait shop? Uh-huh. Yes. Huh. And, um, oh, this is just walk down memory lane. This is, this is Mr. Bertram, our school superintendent. Yeah. I mean, there's so many precious people on here. This is Andy Anderson. He's still living in. He's normally in here. Wow. I'm disappointed that he's not here. 
Well, now, uh, in, in explain to us uh, l about the board of directors. Yes, <laughs> that, that, that's you. <laughs> Did that story. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's from, from the, we had a bakery in town, and a lot of us girls got together and would have our little coffee party in the morning, and we had to justify what we were there for. So we were the board of directors at the bakery. <laughs> and we had our picture taken to prove it. <laughs> in recent years, the restaurant was expanded into an empty space next door. On the morning we visited, a group of local farmers was using the meeting room to hear a fertilizer salesman. Ruby's City Restaurant in Ashby. This could be almost any small town in Lakes Country where townsfolk and tourists, fishermen and farmers come to have their morning coffee break or midday cup of homemade soup. Maybe that is what makes it so appealing, the comfortable, welcoming warmth one comes to expect from a Main Street cafe in Lakes Country, all packaged up in this delightful place called Ruby's City Restaurant. <laughs> 